we can just trust this force of life and this nature inside of us and it's so much wiser than we even think of it's like i'm gonna cry when i think that the people are they are trying to control life so i want to introduce you to our friends david and selena who are a very beautiful couple from <laughs> switzerland and mexico and they had given birth to a wonderful child here in this community and we feel like they have so much wisdom to share with us and share with you guys so we're gonna leave the stage with them and ask david to share with us how is it for you to be a father in a community and to yeah support your woman and witness the birth process and all this this is the start of something A very magical experience for me because um, the whole community was supporting and accompanying this process and I felt very much in confidence with my body and with the whole natural process that was going on because of this environment of support and um, trust that came from outside from the people living in the community and it was very magical this day because the whole community was outside making a fire and praying and singing and playing the drums and um, even the animals were, <laughs> were there present. The cat was sitting on, my, on the house and uh, on our yurt and the dogs were also in front of the door so they were all like so present. I had two midwives that were accompanying us but the whole birth process um, was supported and accompanied by David, my partner, and my mom. So this was actually the, the team that was uh, helping Aru to come mm -hmm. to this world. So and that was, and they were just accompanying from outside and giving some advices. But I, I had like this, this uh, image of um, lots of inter interfering from doctors that like, and now how, how far you are and <laughs> what's going to happen. And, but they were just like present and told me, oh, no, now breathe a bit more like this and do this and that. I think that, that there is a fear. This is the most natural thing. And it's also important because you are opening a, a door of death and life. It's not uh, like I felt it as, as if I was just living until this point. I, w I did not know what, what was going to happen. And I just completely surrendered and let go and told myself it's going to be like it, ha it has to be. I mean, we cannot control these kind of things. Mm, for me, it was um, a very relaxing and beautiful experience because there were so many people wanting to help and be present. And there were all, was also a woman there. She already has three children and she knew exactly what I needed. And she brought me some special um, tea and, and preparations and other women came to, to me because of my wounds and they had some other advices that I would not, have never thought about and this was um, like to feel this collective help and accomp accompany each other uh, was really s such a relax relaxing experience to yeah I think when you are alone in this process it can be very scary also. Yeah. Yeah. Or even and just being in the hospital and yes, with all this yes. Stuff and I mean, after the birth, this starts a completely new life. I, from that moment on, I had to breastfeed every two hours. I could not sleep anymore, <laughs> and it's such an intense and challenging experience you cannot um, imagine of before. And to have the support of other people that can take the child for a moment, that can help you cook and clean and sustain the space around this is uh, pff, the most biggest gift you can have i think you otherwise you get crazy completely wow. i felt also david um after the birth he was so open in his whole aura it was it was too much for him to go even outside the house and we were just in our house for one week having this loving service of the community bringing us food and whatever we needed and we had this possibility to stay a whole week just in our bubble mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. like really a arrive together in this new life because wow. it's a new life you're not anymore the same as you have been before. Para mí la experiencia de ser padre en, en comunidad ha sido un, un viaje hacia algo nuevo 
porque estamos viviendo en un, en un puente, en un cambio entre culturas, entre paradigmas, y tener esta, esta oportunidad y esta experiencia de crear a un, a, un, a un ser juntos desde el embarazo, como una decisión comunitaria, y como un, un compromiso juntos como comunidad y no solo como pareja, ha sido un, una reconfiguración en todo mi sistema y mis células de cómo fue en mis generaciones pasadas y una reconexión también con este sentido de tribu que estaba siempre muy fuerte dentro de mí. Y siempre tuve muy presente en mí que yo solo iba a tener un hijo si era en comunidad. <risa> Veía mucho el sufrimiento de mis amigos y de personas conocidas de crecer a un ser humano entre dos personas y parecía tan difícil y, y tan complicado y ahora con la experiencia me hace mucho más sentido esta forma de vivir en, en comunidad y en tribu porque un bebé necesita muchísimos seres alrededor que, que sean diferentes modelos de papá, de mamá que pueden inspirar y que soportan también a que los padres y la comunidad y sus adultos de referencia tengan una vida sana que nosotros como jóvenes podemos continuar con nuestra vida, con nuestros proyectos, mm. tener nuestro tiempo de intimidad, tener tiempo para estar juntos, para dormir juntos, y que hay otras personas de la comunidad que también duermen con él, que, que lo cuidan, personas en las que Aru confía totalmente y puede quedarse con ellos sin problema. Y es una, es una transición, de, de la vida privada a la vida comunitaria y siento que es uno de los grandes regalos que una comunidad intencional puede darle a, a la nueva cultura y a, a los seres que decidimos ser papás y mamás tener un espacio en el que tomamos responsabilidad conjuntos de los seres que criamos en, en este espacio y que tenemos la conciencia de que ellos son el futuro de lo que estamos creando y que ellos van a vivir lo que estamos creando también. Esto ha sido una experiencia muy hermosa de sentir, wow, tengo una tribu que sostiene a, a este cachorro, a esta criatura y estamos juntos en este, en este camino. Y eso para mí ha sido un regalo, una bendición muy grande de, de sentir todo un grupo de gente con un amor y, y una entrega tan grande a, a este bebé. Como representación de la humanidad el, La experiencia del parto para mí fue una, una mezcla muy intensa Entre alegría, miedo y coraje Sentir la vida salir es muy impactante Creo que es de las experiencias más fuertes que La experiencia más fuerte que he tenido Sin duda recibir a, a mi hijo así saliendo de, de mi pareja Wow, cuando lo digo, todo mi piel y mi sistema se, se vuelve a esa memoria. Sí, es lo más fuerte que he recibido y para mí fue como abrir todo mi campo energético. Y estuvimos como una semana en la cama. No solo Selina, yo también, recuperándome solo de ese momento del parto y de recibir a Aru en mis manos y, y ver su cabeza y de repente todo su ser salir. Wow, fue una de las cosas más impresionantes. Y respecto al hospital, no, no tenía miedo de esto. Es, era más una experiencia muy existencial contigo mismo. De ver la vida, sentir la muerte también. Y ver la belleza y el poder de la vida saliendo de una mujer. Y es increíble cómo mucha luz y cómo mucho amor cuando un bebé puede ringar en una comunidad. Cómo mucha conexión, cómo mucha intimidad, cómo mucha vida y inspiración. Mm -hmm. could come with a baby in a group mm -hmm. um, yeah because because the baby the children they live in their presence mm -hmm. every moment and this is so inspiring because you can enter with them in in this field of pure awareness and and present in every moment mm -hmm. and this opens your heart so much when you when you just spend some time with him you see how he observes the butterflies the dogs the how he interacts how he's just there with the things he sees mm -hmm. it's amazing to see Now, after two years, the result of Aru, that he, that he grew up here, and how he is 
the presence I was already mentioning, how he is just so present and calm with the things he observes. He is so easy to, he can so easy play with himself and be um, inspired by everything he sees. And there I see so, so much uh, difference when we meet other people and other children in town, that they are so overwhelmed by so many influences and so many impressions mm -hmm. that they don't even have this natural curiosity and impulse to, to play uh -huh, and to go like in contact. Down, yes, yeah. it's more like mm -hmm. a defense and protecting um, mechanism mm -hmm. that uh, for sure is normal that it happens now. Mm -hmm. wow. But he's so sensitive and so open that he wow. um, mm -hmm. connects in this beautiful way with people also. And wow. mm -hmm. um, yeah, I really learned so much by observing him because I feel he's so pure in everything mm -hmm. he does. That's amazing mm -hmm. to hear. Mm -hmm. But I think if there are more children, we really have to also educate us more in how we want to um, accompany them on their path because we are we don't want to do it as in school because we think that they know much more than we know <laughs> but how to help them to really come into their power and be able to unfold their mission that they have to do on mm. on our planet i can also remember when i was getting pregnant like all these preoccupations that came up you know like what am i gonna do i'm so young i'm gonna just lose my youth i'm gonna lose my life i'm gonna lose like the social connections with other people i'm gonna completely wow. die you know you see other mothers and you see them stressed you see them occupied you see them not having fun anymore it's Thank just you. not fulfilled it looks so horrible and at the same time this longing for being a mom is so big and it's so beautiful also so for me it was really like a rewiring all my thoughts and all my beliefs about being a mom and and deciding consciously to to do something completely new mm -hmm. yeah to say okay this is how these are the things that i saw these are the things that people taught me and now what am i going to do with this am i going to be the same mom as i saw and <laughs> am i going to be frustrated mm -hmm. am i going to be a victim and I, am i going to just suffer or am i actually going to create something completely new and um, do it together with other people you know? and when you have the support of a, of a larger family let's say or of a community you can be even doing the biggest passion you have for your own and at the same time raise a child. I mean, that's amazing. I'm doing my, my passion of life and my project, life project, besides having a child. And I think this would not be at all possible if I um, would just be in the city with, uh, yeah, growing up. Adu, mm -hmm. well, I guess, yeah. It's like day and night. Yes. It's like you're yes. proving like something possible that many women don't think is possible. I was really um, in this inner conflict, you know, like really knowing that now my, my life will be completely different and is like this. It's never going to be the same. And it is um, very challenging in very moments, be in many moments, because you have to be there all the time for this for this being. And it's it's need it needs you all the time. And it's also but to share this with others it really makes sense the, the saying that uh, that it needs a whole village to grow up a child. Yes. It's, it's not uh, possible alone or or with two yeah. persons. It, it really Definitely. it really turns you crazy completely. It's not wow. yes. And then you can understand completely why family breaks apart, why partnerships are not anymore being um, like you cannot anymore enjoy partnership and like wow if we would not have this space that the community gave us also in, in the partnership to be together and reconnect and have time really really time together without the baby and uh, take care of our of our love people from the community they create a relationship with your child it's not somebody who takes care of your child mm -hmm. they are they are really loving him there is another special connection because they are, yes, they are like role models for them. Ah, there are so many women I can look up to yeah. and they are so different. There's not only one mom, there are several women that do different things and they are like not, they don't project everything on, onto mom and dad. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And there are so many um, specialties, you know, like he can go with Anton and explore the garden. He can go with my mom and explore the, uh, the wood workshop and everybody has to share something with him and just by observing and being present he learns so many things and he i mean the children in this age just <laughs> imitate this is how they learn and they're in school yes <laughs> so yes because they can go their own intuition their own motivation their own curiosity and and this is how you keep the 
the spark of life in them yeah, yeah? like that they can follow their curiosity all the time and we don't stop and kill the curiosity because then yes. we we completely destroy their motivation and their um energy and 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 motivation for doing their mission that they have to do here mm -hmm. this whole experience of being pregnant and giving birth just showed me how how much magic is in in our bodies and how much we can just trust this force of life and this nature inside of us and it's so much wiser than we even think of it's like i'm gonna cry when i think that the people are they are trying to control life you know and and we women we have this inside of us and we are so disconnected of this power that we have and of this root of wisdom we are all inhabiting this wow yeah and that we just don't dare to to trust in in the knowledge of our bodies and of, of nature. There is so much fear, there is so much fear. Mm. And we want to make many exam examines and tests and to check yeah. that everything is fine, you know? Did but you, you can, I did not, uh -huh. no. You wow. can you can really feel when there is something wrong. You mm -hmm. can feel it, there is such a big intuition. Yeah. When I was pregnant, I started to be dream and to sleep very light because the whole senses are developing themselves to be so alert that you even a, a rat's um, noise wake you up in the night <laughs> it's because you get like a superwoman you know <laughs> you, you have to, to be <laughs> able to Super protect powers. to protect this child in every fucking circumstance you cannot wow. fail you know and this is uh, so incredible to to realize how much the whole system the whole body develops to to receive this child and to be completely present and um, protecting this this new life. Mm -hmm. This is not something I know and I have to to produce. It's something that just happened, mm -hmm. and and that happened so in a natural way. No, the all the whole pregnancy. It's it's so and yeah. this is what what scares us so much because we cannot control it. It's yeah, just it it grows, it grows, it grows, and you don't even see it, and it's just getting bigger, and you're like, wow, yeah. <laughs> life is is coming is coming here, and I don't know what's gonna happen, and if this is gonna um, come out well, and <laughs> it's so much miracle and so much um, unknown that it really can scare so much, no? Yeah. But at the same time, it it connects us with this source of life and this pure pure sense of of raw unknown that we are all part of every moment like we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow yeah. and um yeah. and this is so special to be able to to experience this um this con this this magic this uh, bringing a new soul on this planet <laughs> mm. wow i think these are the, the moments that really take away everything everything who you hold it identity everything you're just mm -hmm. in complete awe it's like <laughs> wow what this is what life is supposed to be no initiation. yes it's a complete initiation you hold the, the, the trust the reconnection to your body to your in uh, to your intuition to your power to your to the sacredness of of this um bringing life um through your body to this earth it's do you like mm -hmm. to show us where you get there yes of course let's go when editing, we felt there's so much wisdom and so much amazing information in this interview, so we decided to split it in two. And in the next one, we're going to show you where Selena gave birth, the house, and how they integrated this experience in the community and how they kept their relationship healthy. So if you want to see that, subscribe and click the notification button so you get alert for the next one. We have a lot more videos also about community, about relationship, about mm -hmm. A lot of alternative living topics, so if you want to see that, here's a list. See you in the next one. Alright, bye bye.